What would you like people to think about you when you've gone? I'd like for them to say he took a few cups of love. He took one tablespoon of patience, one tablespoon, teaspoon of generosity, one pint of kindness. He took one quart of laughter, one pinch of concern, and then he mixed willingness with happiness. He added lots of faith and he stirred it up well. Then he spread it over a span of a lifetime and he served it to each and every deserving person. Now, Muhammad Ali, thank you very much. Your character and your personality is the result of the past decisions that you have made and the environment that you surround yourself with. You aren't born with the character that you have. You see, the character can be changed and should be taken for granted. Understand this, the word character is derived from the Greek language which is translated as chisel. So think about it, a chisel is a sharp tool used to make sculptures out of hard materials like marble and granite. Similarly, you have to chisel your character in order to sculpt yourself into the person that you desire to be. Anything that happens in your life, good or bad, is the opportunity to sculpt your character. You see, adversity and setback aren't the only things that build character. Just like success and constantly winning will never strip away your character. Your character is built by how you respond to the ups and downs, wins and losses, through love and pain, or how you navigate through light and darkness. It's the qualities within yourself that must be nurtured diligently, just like planting a seed and watering it. And over the years, you have an oak tree. The process of building character is to be sincerely committed to making yourself become the person that you want to be. Character has always been seen as the foundation of all achievements and the quality of all courage. You see, you can never be a victim of your circumstances if you maintain a courageous mindset. Because with a courageous mindset, you understand that you're never without options that can get you back on track. It takes accountability to realize this because it means accepting responsibility for your own future. You see, adversity isn't something to fear. It's something that you have to expect. And it's also something that has to be prepared for so that you can overcome it. Nick the Stoic.